Have you ever wondered why Steve Jobs used to wear those black turtlenecks every single day? Or what about Mark Zuckerberg, his world famous hoodies that he used to wear to work every day? Or even further than that, what about Barack Obama? Don't you think he used to wear the same outfit every single day? Did you know that there was a very specific reason behind that? And in this video, I'm going to share why top executives of all these multi-billion dollar companies are doing something that you probably did not know about. I'm talking about decision fatigue. Let me explain what decision fatigue is to you. So decision fatigue is the idea that after making many decisions, a person's ability to make further decisions decreases or diminishes with time during that time frame. Now, the term decision fatigue was coined by Roy F. Baumeister. He's a social psychologist and he did an experiment to understand why folks are not able to, you know, restrain themselves or, you know, are able to apply self-control after they had a very tiring day or after they made a lot of difficult decisions. So the psychological concept that, you know, ties in behind this is basically related to the fact that, you know, we have a very limited bandwidth to our day to make all the decisions that we make. So let's say, you know, you're going to choose what type of a coffee you're going to make. Is it going to be a milk coffee? Is it going to be a cream coffee? Is it going to be a black coffee? Then the decision comes that, you know, what am I going to eat for breakfast? If you make all these decisions every single day in your life, you're not going to get enough time to make high impact decisions that are going to impact your life on a long time frame. Compounding that can happen in your life. Essentially, that's what the goal is. Let's take an example here. You are going to undertake a project worth 10,000 rupees. But you suddenly realize that you assume that you're a freelancer and you have certain project spending. You will not be able to effectively give that much time to the new project that you are about to undertake because the decisions that you had made previously are going to compound and will not allow you to have the ability to take on that additional project. So basically what Mark Zuckerberg or Barack Obama did was they used to choose the same set of clothes every day so that they don't, don't have to worry about making these very small minute decisions that do not impact significantly to their lives. That is the goal behind this theory. James Clear, the author of bestseller book Atomic Habits himself has said many times that choices made by people are impacted by all the things that they have to endure that day. Aap jo bhi decision loge. For example, you are a police officer. During the first 10 minutes, 30 minutes of your day, you will be very lenient with, the, with those folks who will be, you know, rule breaking and if they have not committed a very serious crime. But by the end of the day, you are going to be tired. You are not going to have as much willpower left in you to actually, you know, keep on letting uh, the folks who have broken some rules or broken certain law go easily. So during the end of the day, you are going to be, you know, much harshly and severely punished by that police officer because he is tired and he's going to rely on the basic judgment that he has been taught with. That would be to enforce severe punishment on rule breakers. That is the concept here. Jeff Bezos, in an exclusive interview at Economic Club at Washington DC, said that the goal of his entire day is to just make three decisions in a day. Three, nothing more. And that is what he considers that makes his day completely productive. So the goal here is to make high impact decisions as early as possible in your day, which are going to impact on a long term to your life. Instead of, you know, fretting about these things that what am I going to eat? What do I have to drink? Or, you know, what time do I schedule the meetings? Instead of finding out that do not make small impact decisions as a senior executives or someone who is going to, whose decisions are going to impact millions of people's of life or your team members. So the goal is to actually find that mental bandwidth that allows you to expand upon the ideas that make your day productive and effective instead of going the other way around, which make you feel tired and the productivity does not yield too much. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you got some info that you learned from this video. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you actually, you know, give a thumbs up on the video that motivates me to make similar kind of content. And I will see you for the next time. That's it. Subscribe to the channel if you like it. Bye-bye.